So this is an example of how the autopilot or rather how the plane behaves uh, in a turn. So this is in the descent. We have reached almost 240 knots. So the plane is basically stable, stable in idle. So no push from the engines to change the pitch or anything like that. And it basically slowly descends. And you can see it's about 1400 feet a minute. And with 14, about 1400 feet a minute, the speed should go up a little. So it should be between 1350 and, uh, ah, let's say 1300 and 1400. The descent should be the descent rate in idle at 240 knots at 60 tons. So, but that is not what we want to see. I want to see how the autopilot behaves in the turn. That gives him the impression of how much back pressure, how much elevator input is needed to make a turn. What we also will see is that for some reason, the uh, the trim trims the plane forward a little before the turn or in the turn. And I don't really know why the autopilot is doing that, but it is. Uh, so let's go. So uh, we can see here, see the trend vector. And uh, now it starts turning. No back pressure at all. Just a few millimeters of back pressure. No, it trims the plane back. So it actually uses the trim, trim in this situation to have a stable turn. So that is basically what Prosim also is doing. But it is doing, I, I think Prosim is doing it uh, afterwards, not before. So, so it, it feels like the autopilot is doing things after things happened. After the plane make a pitch change, the autopilot do things with, with the trim. And in this ca case, or in many cases, it looks like the trim is doing things before uh, the plane is doing things. So it's, uh, I don't know what the word is, but uh, the autopilot thinks ahead, the trim thinks ahead, you could say. Anyway, so now we are in the turn. You can see we have zero degrees of aileron input. So no aileron input is needed in the turn. And we have a 25, 30, we have a 30 degree bank here. Um, uh, and so quite sharp turn. So between zero and 20 degree bank, you shouldn't need much back pressure and you shouldn't need much aileron input when you are stable in a turn. So let's see. So you can see that the plane is going through the turn, doing some small, small corrections. We don't have any winds. So this, this whole behavior of the plane is that it's very stable, both in pitch and in, uh, in, uh, in, in every angle it's stable. When you do, when you are flying in the normal envelope, it is very stable. So now it puts a little nose forward, a few millimeters, and 20 degrees. So half a centimeter to one centimeter of push forward. Uh, half a centimeter to, let's, let's see that again. So you can see where the yoke is, where the elevator is, no trimming, so a half a centimeter, push forward, uh, just to to correct for the for the lower lift in the turn. So in general, the, the whole plane is 
very stable. Uh, you ho don't have to use much elevator in a turn at all. Basically no elevator. And you don't have to use, when you are stable in a turn, you don't have to use any ailerone input. And that is the behave, behavior the 737 will, will have. And uh, yeah, so we could see that it is a little different from how it behaved when we did takeoff. Then we had much more uh, trust, 94% N1. So the plane would behave a little different and the uh, trim would behave a little different because yeah, it, of course, it will. The speed trim will trim the plane, so so it's more stable. But in this case, we are in a in a in in a just descent with idle thrust in a 240 knots uh, uh, speed, and uh, this is uh, how the plane should behave in, in this situation. Look at it again. Very little input from the autopilot and very slow. You can see it's doesn't, it isn't fast. Flies the plane very smoothly. And so basically you shouldn't need much elevator when doing a turn. And especially not if you are stably, tr stable, trimmed, straightforward in a descent at 240 knots. You should just have to to, to turn the uh, turn the yoke, twist the yoke, uh, and the plane should just continue with the sen same descent rate. So basically, this is how the plane behaves in idle trust.